we first moved to Maine, I was a little concerned about keeping chickens in a cold climate. We had been raising chickens in Virginia for about five or six years, and it was fairly easy. The climate is pretty temperate, and in Maine, obviously, it's really cold in the winter, so I was a little concerned. I had been telling people not to heat their coops and chickens didn't need heat. And when you live in Virginia, that's really easy to say. But moving to Maine is a different story. I don't heat my chicken coop. Heat lamps are just such a fire hazard. Every year there are coop fires, barn fires. People have even burnt down their houses. And honestly, the chickens don't need the heat. Our first winter here, I woke up one morning, it was negative 16 degrees. I was afraid that I wasn't gonna survive the walk to the coop. So I went down expecting all the chickens to just be frozen solid. I opened up the door and they all ran out like it was nothing. Chickens are way, way more cold hardy. They create a lot of body heat when they sleep. And in general, without heat in the coop, our coop is about 20 degrees warmer than the outside temperature at any given time. In the winter, it gets lighter later, so you can sleep in a little bit. So usually around seven o'clock in the morning, I open up the coop, fill the feeders and the waterers. I open the little door every day, year round. I don't feed them inside the coop. All the food and water is always outside. So if they wanna eat their breakfast, they have to come outside. So they're outside every day. Most of the day on cold days, they'll come back inside and they'll spend more time in the coop, but I never actually shut them in the coop. I leave the little door open and they can come and go as they please. Everybody eats their breakfast first thing. That's what they're all about, is having their breakfast as soon as they come out of the coop. And then some of them wander back in. They might lay their eggs for the day. Others will take a dust bath, or they just explore around the run to see if there's anything new that wasn't there yesterday. They can sort of get on each other's nerves. They get, I guess you call it, coop fever. So you never want to actually lock them inside the coop in close quarters like that, but by letting them outside, and then putting up benches and swings and stumps and logs and perches outside, things out in the run that they can hop up onto and play on. We put our Christmas tree out in the run after we take it down, just things to keep them busy and occupied and from pecking at each other. And if one is getting a little bit bullied, she can hop up on something to get away from the others. So we do have one chicken named Mean Kate, and it's obviously she's mean. Her purpose in life is to go around and just peck all the baby chicks on the head each spring. So no one really likes her, but in the winter when it gets really cold, everybody clusters together on the roosting bars and Mean Kate's nestled in there with everybody, but all summer she's all by herself because she's just mean to everybody. She lays beautiful blue eggs, so Mean Kate gets to stick around. Mm -hmm.